Hey everyone, this is Stefan James from Project Life Mastery. Today I'm gonna to share with you the results and the benefits of my 10-day juice fast. Now usually at least once every year, I like to do something to give my body a break, to allow my body to rest, to heal, to recover, to detoxify, and to cleanse and eliminate a lot of the toxicity that my body has accumulated. I think a lot of us live very stressful and hectic lifestyles. There's a lot of demands that we have put on us from the outside world, from our job, from our boss, from our school, from our business, and then the pressures and demands we have on ourselves. And stress can wreak havoc in the body. It compromises your body, your immune system, your digestive system. Every function of the body, from your brain to your liver, your kidney, everything is affected by stress. Stress and negative emotions produce acidity in the body. And then on top of it, we also live lifestyles. Most often, we're consuming a lot of toxicity, chemicals in the foods that we eat, the air that we breathe, and the pollutants that are there. And then also consuming foods that are processed and cooked and are lacking the enzymes and the nutrition and, and the nutrients that our bodies really need. And so as a result of living your life a certain way, there's gonna be a lot of stress on the body, and that's gonna compromise your health. And that's where a lot of people, they can get sick or have disease that can manifest itself in the body because they're not taking the time to allow their body to do what it wants to do, what it's naturally programmed to do. So your body is always healing itself. It's always eliminating and detoxifying things that are being accumulated in the body. You know, when you're a kid and you fall down, and you, you, know, you scrape your elbow, your body automatically heals itself. You don't have to do anything for your body to heal. And your body's doing that more on the inside than on the outside. There's a lot of things that are happening within your body that you can't see, you can't notice, whether it's inflammation, whether it's an infection, and you know, whether it's yeast or candida or things that are going on in your gut microbiome. There's a lot that's happening within your body that your body is always working hard 24 seven without a break, without any time off, with no vacation. It's always got your best interest at heart and we gotta cherish that. We gotta nurture our bodies and do our part and allow our bodies to have a break. And so I was originally inspired to do a juice fast many years ago. I watched a documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. It's a great title, but it's a really incredible documentary that I can't recommend enough. You can find it on YouTube, in fact. I'll link to it for you guys. But it's a documentary by an Australian man by the name of Joe Cross. Uh, Joe is overweight, he's a beast. And he also has an autoimmune disorder and he has to take medication for it every day. And he has a whole host of different symptoms, you know, skin rashes and a variety of problems that, that he's dealing with. And even having to take drugs uh, to help him with the symptoms of certain drugs. I mean, it's just not a pretty, pretty life to have. And so what Joe decided to do is he decided to, to, to change his body, to take control of his health because the medical system wasn't really able to help him solve the root cause of what was happening in his body. They just wanted to pres prescribe to him a drug to treat the symptom, kind of like a Band-Aid, but not really figuring out what's going on. And he realized that the way he was living his life, his lifestyle was affecting his health. And so he decided to do a 60-day juice fast. And he traveled from Australia to the United States, and he documented his, his whole journey. Uh, he ended up working with doctors and uh, naturopathic doctors as well to get all his blood work done and have it measured on a, every 10 days to measure his body mass index, to measure uh, what was going on in his blood, all of the different parts of the body, he'd measure that every 10 days and do it under a doctor's supervision. And the results is incredible. It, it really inspired me like crazy because not only did he lose, I forget how much weight, like 50 pounds or something like that in those 60 days, but he was able to get off his medication and with the help of his doctor, he was able to slowly you know, get off the medication and was able to uh, eliminate um, what was going on in his body with this autoimmune disorder, or at least get it under control. I'm not sure if he cured it or not, but at least got it under control. And it changed his energy, it changed his skin, his well-being, his happiness, so much, in, so much of his body and his life changed as a result of this juice fast. And I don't wanna spoil the whole movie uh, story for you because I do encourage you to watch it, but. What was even more inspirational, he met this truck driver that was extremely obese and uh, had the same autoimmune disorder that he had and he inspired that person to do the juice detox and he did it and it's just incredible what kind of transformation that you witnessed from this, from this documentary. And he even did a follow-up one, um, a second version of it and he's got a book called Reboot with Joe 
uh, that I can also recommend and link to you guys as well. But my point is, when I watched this, I was really inspired. Now, I didn't really have any health problems in my life. I, I, I did a video, by the way, sharing my juice fast. I did 15 days. I think it was about four years ago. That's on my YouTube channel. But I didn't have any health problem, but I've always taken more of a preventative approach. And, and everything he shared made sense to me. And I want to have a preventative approach because I want to avoid getting sick. I want to avoid getting cancer. I want to avoid diabetes. I want to avoid heart disease and a lot of these things that, yes, there's a genetic, a genetic component of, but there's also a lifestyle component that contributes to disease in our life. And I might not be able to control the genetics, but I can control my lifestyle and how I live. And so I realized how important it is to make sure that I give my body a break, that I allow my digestive system to have a break from constantly trying to digest the foods that I'm putting into my body. Foods that are lacking enzymes that can actually break down and digest the food. A lot of foods that are cooked and processed lack enzymes and so your body has to use its enzymatic reserve to be able to digest that. And uh, that's you know animal products and dairy products and a whole host of other products and of course eating junk food that have sugars in it and are just lacking nutrition. They're pretty much empty calories for the most part. Uh, but giving my body a, a, a break and a rest from that at least once a year is one of the most important things that I think you can do. So um, I decided I'm here back in Vancouver, Canada, I was in Panama for a while and was able to get back here, which I'm grateful for because during everything with COVID, you can live more of a normal lifestyle. It's not too bad here, which is great. Panama, on the other hand, was very locked down. So I'm very lucky to be here back for the summertime. And so Tatiana and I, we had to quarantine for 14 days, which is a requirement. Um, and so we decided let's do a juice fast. Let's you know get our, allow our body to take a rest and reset itself. And we basically for 10 days drank nothing but juice, green juice. Now these are green juices that uh, you can get from a juice bar. Um, and I'll share with you guys how you can go about it. But um, there's, you know, in Vancouver, it's a very health conscious city, which I'm very grateful, grateful of. But they have a lot of juice bars where they make the juice. It's cold pressed juice, raw and organic, and it's primarily green juice. So this juice here has spinach, cucumber, celery, and parsley. You primarily wanna consume greens and vegetables when you're juicing because the greens, uh, green plants have chlorophyll, which is very similar to Adam, is similar to the hemoglobin in our blood. And so it's really beneficial for cleansing the blood and, and, and uh, really healing your body in so many incredible ways. So primarily green juice, um, I try to avoid a lot of fruit or sugar because um, the challenge with that is that a lot of the sugar, well a lot when you, for example, juice something, you're extracting the fiber and usually when you have sugar, fruit, the fiber helps satiate you versus when you extract the fiber, you can over consume too much sugar. So for example, what's in this bottle of juice, of greens, is probably the equivalent of you know, this much greens. Now, if you're to eat that amount, or you know, let's say it's fruit, if you're to have 10 oranges, you're not gonna be able to eat that. Your body's gonna get full because the fiber is gonna signal to your brain that you're full, that you've had enough. But on the other hand, when you juice something, you extract the fiber, then you're consuming so much more of it. And so the challenge with over-consuming a lot of fruit juices is that you're having too much sugar for your body to handle. And that's not good because that can feed yeast and candida, candida uh, you know, in your, in your colon, uh, which is not good, which you want to eliminate. Now, I primarily drink green juice, and then I'll maybe add in a little bit of apple or pineapple. Uh, something like that can give it a little bit more flavor, but you want to make sure you're not over-consuming that. Um, I like to kind of sometimes have juices that have ginger or lemon. That can give it a bit of a kick and add some flavor to it. These are, this is a wellness shot. I like to take different ones of these too. This one has lemon, ginger, cayenne, oil of oregano, and uh, you can get a variety of different ones. But basically just drinking nothing but juice for 10 days, and I'll have about six juices a day. And surprisingly, you're not that hungry. You might be hungry the first few days, um, but then after that, your body actually turns off hunger. Because our bodies, you gotta understand, our bodies are made for feast or for famine. Thousands of years ago, our bodies, uh, human beings didn't have immediate access to food like we have today. We, you know, If you're hungry, you can't just go to the store and get food. There'd be cases where you know, you'd hunt or you'd gather and you'd consume a lot of food and you'd binge on that and then maybe even go a few days without food. 
So the body is actually made for that time. And when your body isn't getting food in, what it does is it uses stored energy, which is your body fat. That's what your body fat is. It's stored energy and it starts burning that for fuel. And so after the first few days, hunger turns off, your body starts burning your body fat for fuel. You're usually not getting enough calories uh, during a time when you're detoxing. So you do lose weight. I was able to lose a couple pounds of fat. But the interesting thing that happens when you're doing a detox is that you have an explosion of energies after a few days. So that usually the first few days you're having some withdrawal symptoms, some detox symptoms when you're tired. Uh, you know, you might have your body trying to eliminate through your skin or you might have diarrhea or constipation or something that's going on where your body's eliminating a lot of the toxicity. Because when you're doing a detox like this, your body doesn't have to focus on much else. It's not distracted, focused on digestion, which by the way, is one of the biggest expenditures of energy in the body. Is when you consume food, especially foods that are processed or cooked, it can take your body, like if you have a steak, that can take your body 10 hours to be able to digest and to break that down. That requires a lot of energy. And so your energy goes up when you're fasting. After the first few days, once you're past the withdrawal symptoms, you have an explosion of energy um, if you've ever done something like intermittent fasting, which is also something that I do where I fast usually 14 to 16 hours a day, you're going to notice that you have a huge burst of energy. At a certain point, your blood sugar can drop down if you don't have enough, you know, if you don't stabilize that, but your energy goes through the roof because your body can focus, doesn't have to focus on digestion. And uh, by juicing, you're able to, to consume a lot of nutrition that's absorbed directly into the bloodstream. Your body doesn't have to process the fiber and go through that. And there's nothing wrong. Fiber is great. You need fiber in your diet. But when you give your body a break from digestion, your body can cleanse the colon. It can get rid of the mucoid plaque that's been built up and even undigested foods that can sit in your colon and and ferment and putrefy and cause auto intoxication where the toxicity from that can get reabsorbed into the bloodstream. So your energy goes up, your skin gets better, you lose weight. Um, some of the, the symptoms you might be dealing with in your life, whether it's related to your skin or soreness or pain, whatever it is, you're gonna find that your body will start to heal that and will be able to prioritize that a lot better. And um, you know, I've gotten some great benefits of doing a, a detox and a cleanse but I've never, I don't really have any serious health condition, but I've noticed and been able to see, especially from documentaries and books, the miraculous things that have happened when you really allow your body to do its job, to give it, to have a break, to focus on healing and recovery. It's pretty incredible. So I, I want to share this with you guys because I think a lot of you could benefit from this. Um, uh, a lot of you, you know, and at some point in your life, you might deal with and encounter some challenges in your health or loved ones. And I always like to first and foremost explore the alternative solutions for that. You know, unfortunately, the healthcare industry, you can call it the sick care industry because they profit from you being sick. There's, there's profits to be made when you have a population of people that are sick and they have health problems because they can produce and sell a drug, which is what makes them money. And there's not money to be made really in a lot of the natural remedies and a lot of the natural health things that are available for us. And so I always like to first and foremost explore what's available um, through nature, um, what God has given us, to, to the power of nature and plants and fruits and all that different, you know, what's available to really utilize that as much as I can for my health and my well-being. And that's not to say that there's not a place for doctors, but I do think that a lot of um, the medical industry, they overprescribe drugs and um, you know, it's a bit of a shame because I think there's a lot that we can do naturally. So juice fast, look into it, the energy you get, and just, if not, if not that, just allow your body to take that rest. And during a juice fast like this, I'm not doing a lot of stressful activities. I'm not doing any intense weightlifting or anything like that. Going for walks, getting sunlight, uh, you know, trying to eliminate stress, trying to meditate, do stretching, a lot of good things that are you know, gonna really nurture myself and allow myself to rebuild and recharge and get those benefits. Now, another thing I also wanna share real quick too is I like to also do a liver and a gallbladder flush during my juice fast. I did a video on this many years ago as well. Uh, there's a great book called The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush by Andreas Moritz. And um, I discovered this many years ago through different health groups and whatnot. And um, the benefits of it and, and 
there hasn't been much studies and research behind things like this, again, because medical industry, there's not much money to be made and spending money to do research and studies on a lot of these natural things. But regardless, a lot of the anecdotal evidence that's out there and people that have gotten incredible benefits is pretty, pretty eye-opening. Um, but uh, a liver and gallbladder flush is the idea that in our gallbladder, we have gallstones that are toxic and cause, us, cause health problems. And a gallbladder flush is worth five days for five days, you're gonna consume malic acid, which is found usually in apple juice or in apple cider vinegar. And so you're gonna take a bit of that. What that does over a period of time is it softens the gallstone, gallstones, which makes it easier for it to come out. And then on the day of your liver flush, what you're gonna do, and I've got a video on this I'll link to that I did many years ago, but you're gonna consume Epsom salts with water, which tastes horrible, but it helps as a laxative to help cleanse out the colon because you wanna clean everything out and then uh, you're gonna have half a cup of olive oil and lemon juice and you drink that and then you lay down right away because what that's gonna do is that it's gonna cause your gall, gall uh, bladder to flush out the gallstones and you're literally gonna feel gallstones rolling out like marbles you know, out of your gallbladder. And when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna have a bowel movement, go to the bathroom and you're gonna notice all these little gallstones come out and uh, sit there in the toilet and it's, pretty incredible and there's certain types that are, are, are more toxic than others and uh, you know you can analyze it if you want it in your stool but you're going to have some more Epsom salts and just cleanse and detox everything out and a lot of the benefits from a, a liver flush like this is pretty incredible as well. I've heard so many incredible stories. I'll link the book on Amazon for you guys. I mean just reading the reviews on Amazon and people's incredible stories is pretty eye-opening. So I like to do something like that as well. Uh, for myself, and um, that's something that you can also explore also. So I really hope this can benefit you in some way, shape, or form if you're open-minded to different alternative uh, solutions for health and well-being. I've gotten great benefits from it, and I feel like I'd be cheating you by not sharing with you something that I've gotten a lot of benefit from. So I'll link the, to the documentary below and some resources for you guys to explore. But otherwise, I want to thank you so much for your time. If you've done any sort of juice fast, I've done many others. I've done raw food cleanses and certain detoxes for my gut and healing leaky gut syndrome and a variety of things like that. But if you've done anything or have any great documentaries, books, or resources, please leave a comment below. Um, I think it can really help a lot of people and uh, we can spread a lot of positivity here and help a lot of people by sharing. So leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe here to Project Life Master if you want more information on how to improve different aspects of your life. But I thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you benefit here from this. God bless you. Be well, be healthy, be safe, and take care.